welcome you all to rajesh english class and today we will discuss about the modal verbs okay when we discuss about the modal verb we have to think about the verb verb has two kinds one is auxiliary verb and other is main verb and auxiliary verb also two kinds one is primary auxiliaries and number 2 is modals and in english there are 13 number of modals can could will would may might shall should ought to need not use it to dare must 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 in english there are 13 number of modals and out of this 13 the most used modals are can could may will would might should must no doubt there are 13 models in english but we are using in regular basis these models so i have given this chart and these are the number of models can could may will would might should must and its use today we will discuss about these models and its use now can and could can and could in structural approach in structural point of view that meaning of can and could is different can means the ability of present tense could means the ability for past tense the past tense of can is could but in modal bar the meaning of can and could is same like can is used for informal ways could is used more formal and polite suppose can you give me a pen could you give me a pen the both sentence meaning is same can you give me a pen could you give me a pen but what is the difference in modal there is a difference between can and could is remember can informal could more formal and polite the meaning is same can is informal could is more formal and polite suppose i will ask you i will want i, I want to get a pen from you at that time i have to ask can you give me a pen because i need not use formality because you are my students that's why i am using can you give me a pen but if the same question i want to ask to your father to your mother at that time i need more formal and polite so the same question i have to ask could you give me a pen okay if i will ask you to get your pen i have to ask can you give me a pen if i have to ask the same question to your parents at that time i have to ask could you give me a pen so here the meaning is same but i use can for informal ways which can be asked to students to youngers where you need not show your formality but where you have to show your formality when the um, you ask the question to the your elders your teachers so at that time you have to show your more formality and more politeness at that time you have to ask could you give me a pen otherwise can you give me a pen that can 
टू आस्क परमिशन कैन इज यूज टू आस्क परमिशन कैन यू गिव मी ए पैन इफ यू परमिट देन आई विल टेक अदरवाइज नॉट बट आस्क कुड इज आस्क परमिशन इन क्वेश्चन नॉट गिव बट हियर टू गिव परमिशन सपोज आई आस्क यू कैन यू गिव मी ए पैन यू विल आंसर yes sir you can so here to ask permission can you give me a pen in question and to give permission yes sir you can because this is the permission you or someone will give us so yes sir you can but in in, in this case could is only for ask permission could you give me a pen the answer will be wrong yes you could that is wrong the answer would be yes you can so here i have written ask permission in question not give permission and another is could use for hypothetical suppose i will write an example if you were a student you could go half a rate if you were a student it is hypothetical at the time of hypothetical sentence you can use could if you were a student you could go half a rate okay now we have already discussed can and could now it's time to discuss may and might may might is also the same this is present and this is past past tense of may is might but the meaning may rather formal where is formality is absolutely required at that time one can use may you are generally using at the time of enter into the room sir may i come in sir may i go out sir where the more or rather formal is required and it is for ask permission and give permission it is also you can ask permission and one can give permission for example may i come in sir through question one can ask permission or one can give permission also yes you may but here in this case might this is only future possibilities he might come he has not come yet but this is future possibility at that time you can use might might is used for future possibilities and may is used for rather formal to ask permission and give permission another one is indicating possibilities it may rain it indicates possibilities there is no rain right now but it indicates possibility it may rain so the may is rather formal to ask permission and to give permission at the same time indicating possibilities but might is future possibilities he might come okay now we will discuss will and won't this is also same the past form of will is would but will is used in question to ask permission only you cannot get permission only to ask permission whenever you want to ask for permission at that time you should use will and in informal ways i have told you earlier what is formal and what is informal informal means you need not show your formalities suppose when you ask to your younger to your friends you need not show formality at that time you can use will will you come with us this is in the question to ask permission only in formal ways and there is no give permission but would is 
यूज्ड इन क्वेश्चन टू आस्क परमिशन इन फॉर्मल वेस बोथ आर सेम बट हियर इट इज द फॉर्मल वेस सेम क्वेश्चन ऑडियो काम विथ आज द बिनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस बोथ आर सेम बट हियर इट इज इनफॉर्मल दिस इज फॉर्मल वेन आई विल आस्क टू यू स्टूडेंट्स और एनी यंगर्स हु इज यंगर टू मी एट दैट टाइम आई हैव टू आस्क विल यू कम इथ वर्स वेन द सेम क्वेश्चन आई हैव टू आस्क टू योर पेरेंट्स आई हैव टू आस्क विल यू कम इथ वर्स विल एंड वुड आर बोथ आर सेम बट विल इज यूज फॉर इनफॉर्मल वेज एंड वुड इज यूज फॉर फॉर्मल वेज ओके now should should is used for should is used for obligation one should obey the parents and offering advice you should read and bound i should do it in these meanings obligation offering advice and bound we are using should now must must is obligation and prohibition you must do it it is obligation and prohibition negative you must not do it in this both ways we use must so this is all about the models no doubt there are 13 models out of this 13 4 5 6 7 these eight models we are using frequently so this is the eight important models and it's huge that's all this is all about your modal verbs and before conclude my class i would like to request once again you all please do subscribe my channel and get many more in coming days thank you